Hey guys, welcome to the ninth C sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be working with integers. And for the rest of my tutorials, I've decided that I am just going to have the tutorial start on this page here with everything already in the form that you need. So if you don't know, you need a button and a text box. All right, and then once you have that, double click on the button. All right, so once you have this code generated, we are going to create a new integer. Oops, integer called int one. And that is going to be textbox1.txt. Now, in order to um, convert a string, textbox1.txt, to an integer, we need to do int dot parse. And then inside the parentheses, you're going to need to put the string, which is textbox1.txt. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we need to create a new string so that we can show our result, which we will call this string, in a message box. So what you're going to want to do is make a new string result and set it equal to have a parenthesis and then int one oops int one plus ten. Alright, well I guess ten, yeah. And then dot two string like that. And then have a message box dot show result. So now what will happen is whatever, um, whenever whatever value we type in textbox1.txt, text, and when we click the button, it will add 10 to it and display it in a message box. So if I type 20 here, I should get a message box that says 30. There we go. Now, some other operations you can do with just using the one sign is you can do minus, times, or multiply, and divide. Now, if you're looking to do something more complex, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do math. And then click dot. And then here you have all these different things you can do. You can do like tangent, square root, sine, round, all that stuff. But we are just going to take a look at square root today. And in case you want to use any of the other ones, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you choose one of these, all you do is you put a, um, a parenthesis, and then it'll tell you what to type. A double D. Um, what a double is, is it, it, it's an integer, only you can have decimal points in it, which we will look at a little bit later. So if we type anything, we, we can just do int, oops, int, 1. Which, I don't see why there's an error. Oh, I guess, oops. Yep, I need another... All right, there. Now, whatever, what it will give the square root of whatever is in this. So if we type 100, it will give us 10. Okay, now we're going to take a look at arrays real quick. Because we did this in the strings tutorial. It's not much different. It is a, a pretty much exactly the same thing. So just do int, a new int. And you're going to want to put brackets and then call it something new. I'll just call it i. And then you want to set it equal to something. And exactly like the string, you just put two um, French curly braces. And there you go. And then you want to create um, some new integers. I'll just do 0, 1, 2, 3. And then if you want to have a message box display it, message box dot show we can just be going to have i and then inside the and then you're going to have two brackets and then inside the bracket you're going to need to choose um which one of these this is this is 0 1 2 and 3 but no matter what number you have here like even if this is like that that is still um thought of as 0 so i'll just leave it as 0 so it's easier to see so we'll just call it 0 dot two string show it in a message box and we should just get a message box that says zero when we click the button. There we go. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is doubles. And doubles, like I said before, are just an integer, only you can use um, decimal points in them. So I'll just put double one, set equal to, and then you can just have like, I don't know, like six, five dot two. 
and then you can just have if you want to have a mess you want to get fancy and you can do so what we did before just do string um result equals 5.2 and then this time i guess we'll do multiplication times 2 oops i need to have it two string two string and then have a message box show message box dot show Oh wait, oops, this should be referenced as double one. So we can actually see that it's a double. And then we're going to have it show result. Alright. So now when we click the button, we should get 10.4 in a message box. And there we go, 10.4. So that is the basics on integers. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer them. So, see ya.